Matthew Riley's The Six Sacred Stones. This is the sequel to The Seven Deadly Wonders and is a continuation of the Jack West Jr. series. 421 pages and this is a blend of Uncharted and Indiana Jones. So the main character is a military special forces guy who then does uh, studies ancient history, young adult fiction, historical fiction, all that good stuff. So the first one was a sunspot. The second one is a dark star on the edge of our solar system, kind of like a black hole, but not really. But it's emitting radiation and is going to, you know, again, boil the earth. <laughs> Scross. Are you sensing a pattern here? But anyways, uh, so the adventure is to travel all over the world and, you know, save it, um, laying these six sacred stones. They're a giant um, pillar of diamond, you know, pure diamond. And they are connected to the previous book in that the starter, the sunspot charged the tip, the capstone, the tip of the pyramid. And then they use that tip of that pyramid to charge the um, uh, pillars. And then those pillars go into six slots of the machine. So in the earth underground, there's these inverted pyramids um, and supposedly what the Louvre is modeled after. And you place the pillar at the tip of the pyramid uh, the cleansed pillar or activated pillar with the, you know, with the tip of the capstone. And then in this um, underground pyramid, in the six spots, at these six dates, and it's it saves the world. So really cool, lots of fun, uh, you know, just all over the world. And like I said in the previous one, it, it almost felt like the History Channel where they kind of like go from history, you know, facts to then like, is it aliens? You know, that kind of transition but they are operating off of the past civilization theory that there were humans before us and that they were more advanced than us, but they got wiped out for some reason. So that's the theory behind this, that's tying it all together. But uh, they, they go around and there's these pillars that they have to one, figure out how to get them, how to cleanse them, and then how to place them. So there's three sections. You gotta find the vertices, the pillars, and the, the stones to cleanse them. And each pillar has its own reward. I think it's like knowledge, heat, sight, life, death, and I, I can't remember the other one. But yeah, you get the idea. So again, it's like a competition, a race, you know, multiple nations and groups all want this for different reasons. The rewards, some to help, you know, prevent the end of the world. And there's even a group of nations, uh, you know, trying to bring about the end of the world. So, you know, against the, all the other groups. Um, this one is, uh, focuses specifically on the first two vertices. They had to do all the setup. They had to get, uh, the location of the first four pillars and all the other stones, all that setup kind of took here. So this only deals with the first two vertices, but really cool. Um, I liked the setting in e Egypt and Africa, all the crocodiles. I learned a ton about crocodiles here. I didn't realize that, like I knew what cold blooded meant, but like just the whole interaction, a lot of, lots of fun there. Um, I liked the Sea Ranger storyline and that it's like a similar group of heroes, right? The first book, they kind of return for this action adventure. Um, and they travel the world. It's, it's a grand adventure. Lots of fun. Harrowing, you know, uncharted like situations where, you know, you're like you got a train falling off a ledge, you know, just completely impossible situations and they somehow survive and make it through. Super cool. I liked the Confucius uh, riddles and quotes in there, lots of fun. Just and a, a, a really quick story, and it goes by way too fast. Um, things I didn't like, it was a literal cliffhanger at the end, so of course it makes you keep reading the series. But this one was really a lot of setup, which is okay, right? This is a book series, this isn't like a standalone book. So that it, there was a lot of setup. And so for me, that was kind of like, okay, like let's get to it. But of course there's plenty of action and there isn't really chapters in this. It's like two or three pages, boom, we're gonna go talk to a different location or a setting. It just is meant to be a page turner, you know, one of those quick things there. So Matthew Riley is Australian. This is a great read. I look forward to the rest of the series. And yeah, um, remember to buy your books used or digital.